Congress leader Rahul Gandhi received a warm welcome from his party workers at a railway station in Rajasthan as he reached for a three-day Chintan Shiva. The Supreme Court declined to immediately stop the survey of Gyan Wapi Mosque in Varanasi, saying the matter would have to be conceded in due course. The Supreme Court has dismissed the plea filed by a group of doctors seeking postponement of need postgraduate 2022 exam. The exam is still scheduled to be held on 21st May. In a tragic incident, as many as two pilots, including one from Odisha, have been killed after a helicopter crashed at Raipur Airport. According to Union Health Ministry data, 2,841 new coronavirus infections were reported in a day. India's tally of COVID-19 cases rose to 4 crore 31 lakh 16,254, while the active cases dipped to 18,604. The United Arab Emirates President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahan died at the age of 73 after battling illness for several years. A day after North Korea confirmed its first COVID case, leader Kim Jong-un was pictured wearing a mask at a meeting to discuss the outbreak in the country. Ranveer Singh has sent out important social messages with his humour in film Jesh by Jordar. Ranveer Singh attempts to establish too much with the two of film. He uses humour and a Gujarati accent to convince the audience about gender equality and rolls feminism up his sleeve to speak about women's empowerment. UAE's T20 League is delighted to announce that Kolkata Knight Riders Group has acquired the rights to own and operate the Abu Dhabi franchise and will set up Abu Dhabi Knight Riders as an integral part of the UAE's flagship T20 League.